Okay, now I'm going to show you uh, how we um, measure the mass of displaced water. To do that, what you're going to do is you're going to take the uh, beaker and the water. Of course, the scale is set to zero right now. And then you put the beaker with water on top of the scale. Of course, it's going to read something. All right. But what we are going to do now, we are going to re-zero this. Okay, let's re-zero it with the uh, uh, water and the beaker. And then come over here take your object this one of course aluminum block and I'm going to slowly submerge this okay until the object is completely submerged all right so and then so as I submerge what's going to happen is uh, water is going to be displaced and this water stays in the beaker so, and the reading is zero right now so as what as the water comes out it's going to be read by the scale all right so technically we can read the mass of displaced water by doing this okay so we're not going to put it all the way in the bottom but we are going to hang it in the water okay so let me slowly go in so you see i'm making sure the object is in the water so as long as i keep it in the water you can see the mass of displaced water okay so i had to keep it steady but roughly you see the value anyway so whatever reading you see right now is the mass of displaced water. Why? Because I am holding the object in the water and the displaced water stays in the beaker and you get the reading. Okay? The fact that I couldn't keep it steady is the reason why it fluctuates. But you can get approximate value there. So read the value there. That's about the mass of displaced water. Alright? Okay. So, so that's what you need.